Good morning, <clears throat> soon to be afternoon. I think in about two minutes, I think I'm a bit uh, a bit late. Uh, I was all on time up until 20 to noon and then um, something happened, I got sidetracked and now I was almost late. So I think this preamble <laughs> is two minutes. Is it two minutes? Uh, good afternoon, soon to be. Uh, welcome back everyone, e even though you haven't been anywhere, you might have been, but I, I, I've been away, I'm back from being away, uh, delighted to be here, you know, been thinking about you all, I've been intermittently uh, with and without, <laughs> with and without Wi-Fi, the dreaded Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, wi -fi. last minute Bex, last two minute Bex actually, Andrew Scott, oh, have you come out specially to, to welcome me back, Andrew? <laughs> I know, I wonder where I was too, Chris, for, for those few moments. Hello, Cathy, thank you for your message. Hello, Ken, good to see you. And uh, Miss Pete, thank you very much. And I can see Bolton are also watching. Look, very, very quickly, have you got one of these? Got one of these, we need one of these. I thought, I thought we'd kick off with uh, some tea towel action or something similar, reliably, um, reliably tuggable. Uh, tuggable. Uh, I know, all, awesome, awesomeness. I don't know how you feel about that word. I, I very use, I, I, I don't use it a lot, but um, awesomeness from Dave and Kaos, filling in the gaps in this week. Thank you to them both. Uh, of course, I've uh, had a bit of contact with them in these days, catching up with stuff. Uh, <laughs> had trouble finding me. Some things never change. All right, Gillian with a G. All right, Gillian with a J. I've come back to dry the, dish the dishes, Andy, it's true. <laughs> so come on, I need, I, the, the, the watch still isn't working. I, I can reveal that uh, probably on about September the 6th, I can get a battery for the watch. It, it, there's a reason why I'm being so specific about that. <laughs> Right, what have we got for you? Right, I thought we'd kick off, no, no kicking involved. I, I thought we'd kick off with um, a noonday shopping list for moving parts, supporting parts and brains. So <clears throat> if you just start to adjust your memory recall dials, if you could do that along with the tea towel. I've got five, five moves, but we do the uh, back to one, add one, add one, add one. So you get this accumulation of repeats of the same movements. Repetition is a good thing. We like repetition. It's how we learn, provided we're doing it in a reliable way, of course. Uh, all right, Margaret, I did uh, have a very good week, thank you. They were brilliant. They're, they're always brilliant, aren't they? They're always brilliant. Uh, lovely to see you all, even though I can't see you. <laughs> I think the air's grown. Has my air grown in a week? Anyway, are we there? Are we close? I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go three, two, one. Good afternoon and welcome back, everyone. I know you haven't gone away, but I can't welcome myself back. Great to be back. We're going to kick off uh, 15 minutes-ish movements from everyday life. We're going to pull, we're going to rise, we're going to mobilise. Uh, reach march with some variations on pace speed and cadence as well with a bit of tugging going on so so it boost to start check your area you know what you need you know what you need you need uh, some external support close to hand reliable footwear and feet and all things underfoot let's get going with circ boost standing prompts and seated prompts here's your standing ones first ready steady <sighs> Feet hip width apart, comfortably so, not too wide, not too narrow. A little bit of length and activity through your middle bits. Shoulders back and down. Have a, a look to check that your feet are where you want them to be and start the, start the marching activity. If you're in sit position, I'll be with you in just one moment, but you might want to start without me if you know what the prompts are for that. Start steady, stay steady, involve, invite, activate feet, ankles and toes. And whilst you're considering what's going on in the lower, in the lower regions and parts, don't take your eye off the ball on the middle bit here. So keep active. All this activity through your trunk is majorly going to support literally what's going on around it. As and when you're ready, 
start to bring in the other parts. Don't be kind of, don't be drawn into my pace or my ranges of motion. So this is this is the activity we're after, with or without this external support. You might choose to go smaller and bigger. You might be uh, slightly swifter but still controlled, especially down at legs. Remember, the slower we go with legs on this activity. The, the balance challenge will go up, so it needs to be fairly fluid and comfortable. Are you feeling the need to grab a deeper, extra invigorating breath? If so, that's what we can expect from the circuit boost. Here's your seated prompts, forward and up and lifted. You might want to start with the, uh, with the shouldery movements in sit, all around this active posture here, forward and back, a bit of left, a bit of right, bringing it to, am I, am I, am I? Am I talking fast? I'm excited. I haven't talked so much in a week. There you go. <laughs> There's some steady arms. If you have intention to come up at stand at some point, have a hip walk. There we go. I've steadied myself now. Have a hip walk forward. Lift and shift, lift and shift. Uh, establish feet here. Keep the activity and then start to bring in the ankles if you're on your legs at some point in the day. Uh, if not, you may be sticking with upper limb and the other variations that could be here. Involve the feet. If you are in on your feet at any time in the day, take this as an opportunity to, to get the ankles and feet ready with or without the low lift here. Then you can start to incorporate other moving parts. It might be all parts moving. It might be just upper limb. It might be just lower limb or combination. Is that happening? Can you feel that boost happening? By that boost, we literally mean that the boost, the shunt of blood, the extra expulsion of blood coming out from the arc, this light lift in heart rate is really, really beneficial and it should make you feel good. So that set us up for the next few movements, okay? Great, great benefits in that circ boost alone. That might be all you want from the movement snack. Just a prompt, a bit of a circ boost. That might be it. It still has value in isolation. If you want some extra bits, here we go. We're going to start with some pulling, some pulling, grip, and grasp. Uh, exactly the same whether in sit or stand. So take your tea towel or something reliably uh, tuggable. Uh, coming in from the top here, as if you're holding a glass there, as if you're holding a glass there, and create a little bit of tension. Not maximal, just enough to keep the same distance between the hands. In stand, you might want to shimmy up to your external support if you want to utilise both hands. This could add a bit of extra support, like so. Or if you have any concerns with balance on this one, have a perch down. So we're going to take a, an extended reach and a draw back. We're going to stay on the same side. So we've got a little bit of um, a pull coming from the lower arm. And you've got to see you've got this extra uh, push and pull coming from the top arm. And then we change sides. So you need to change the grip there. You've also got the trunk supporting these shoulders and these pulling actions. So here, yes, we're kind of replicating this kind of rowing action here, but it's essentially in daily life, we're going to reach, pull and grab. It can be done, look, here you go, without the tea towel if you didn't have time to get one. We've got the elbow movement, we've got some grip, we've got some grasp, we've got some shoulders, all working around a supported active trunk. There you go. And because of the kind of fluidness of that movement, you're going to continue to get this, this kind of light lift also in heart rate. Take a pause. You might want to pit stop in sit and deactivate. Remember, the rests are as important as the actives. Same in stand. Might want to have a bit, of a, a bit of a slump. Let's get ready for the second one. Second movement. Um... It's a lower limb one, it's a foot one, but I'll give you some seated uh, options also. Potential to challenge your balance here. Indeed it will do, because we're going to come up onto the balls of the feet. So have some support either to the side or to the front. Hip width on feet. Articulate, find your toe hinges. So there's the heel raise and lower. So we've done this many times before. 
If you're confident with that and it feels good, you've got some extra activity going on around the ankles and the calves, uh, we're going to add in a foot adjustment at the top. So imagine you've come up onto the balls of your feet to reach a higher level. Probably while you're up there, you're going to need some adjustments of balance and then lower. Hold on to the support so that you feel secure and supported and can really think about shifting, adjusting the foot up on the balls of the feet. Let me turn sideways so you can see what I've done here. There is my toe hinges and there's my shift, shift, lower. With or without support, high, lengthen in the middle, shift, shift, lower. It kind of replicates the adjustments needed to maintain a balance in standing when we feel a bit challenged. In up on the balls of the feet, adjust, adjust, and lower. It's just two or three. This is a movement snap, which is crowbarring little bits in there, like so. Same in sit, if you would like, and don't forget the seated option. Third movement. So this is the third one on the moving stacking shopping list. I've gone for the classic sit to stand. Oh. Uh, or, or an upper back straightener, you choose. So heels back and down, sit to stand, go for a little bit of power on the way up, and control on the way down. So crowbar in, a few extra stands. If coming up to full stand, you don't feel ready for that, you've got the jockey lift option there, for example. Bit of hip hinge, a little bit of hover if you can. And if lower limbs, not on your radar at all, switching that out for trunk, and upper back strengthener. Pulling apart, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Remember this T towel adds additional muscle activity. Extra tension, pulling apart, keep pulling apart and then squeeze back there and release. So you've got extra muscle activity. Okay, that's the third. So it's shopping list, it's memory recall. So we go back to the beginning. The first movement was pulling. There, extend, kind of make these movements a little bit bigger as we work through these repeats. On this one, you've got this diagonal, bit of a diagonal turn, but the chest is still lifted and open. Same in sit, same in stand. Keep that tension through the band. There's your standing option. Second, heel raises with the adjusts. If you want to make that feel a bit more realistic and functional, you can come up onto the balls of the feet, go for the high functional reach, then go for the weight transfer, shift, shift and adjust. Keep using this external support as you feel you may need there. That is the, the reality of reaching higher places. Seated is the same. Do remember to bring the feet back a bit if you're rehearsing that in seated. You'll get much more movement from the ankles doing that. Alternatively, back extension, slow and controlled from inactive, active, extend and release. The third movement was the classic sit to stand or variations of or jockey lift or up back squeezes. There you go. Three, four, five mat, which is crowbarring in extra moves into the day. There you go, take a pause. Fourth one is a shoulder mobility one. It's the same whether in sit or stand. So it's more about the movement of the shoulder. Have a look. We're going to take with one hand. So with my right hand, I put it over the shoulder. With the same right hand, I'm going to reach behind, bring it across, and then bring it across the bottom part and around. And then I do the same again. Same arm, back round. Try to keep the trunk lifted and active. So it's really finding your, sh <coughs> excuse me, your shoulder blades, your elbow range, your, there's, there's your back of arm there, and wrist activities there also. Don't forget to do both sides. So on the other side, left hand now over the left shoulder, creeps up the back there on the left side, comes across, changing round about the waist and then over again. So have a go. So really slow, meaningful, deliberate, did a double whammy there, shoulder movements. And of course this relates to wash, 
dress, shower, all that kind of stuff. Okay, back to the beginning. How are we doing? Pulling, canoeing. Uh, any 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 number between one or five of these. Here we go. Sit tall or stand tall. One, two, three, four or five on one side. One, two, three, four or five on the other side. Seeing how you feel in sit or stand. Stop, take a pause. Second movement. Heel raises with the foot adjustments. Any number between one, two, three or five. Your pace, not mine. So just crowbar them in. There's the seated rehearsal with with a little bit of um, extra assist, or it was your back extension, or it was the standing option. High reach, adjust. High reach, adjust. Any number between one, three or five. So third movement was sit to stands, or variations of one, two, three, four or five. There's the sit to stand. Focus on the power up. Control down, keep the heels into the floor, or you might go for jockey lifts with or without a little bit of hand assistance. Or, 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 upper back strengthener. There. Any number between one, three, or five. Then it was fourth movement, shoulder movements, same side, over, same side, collect, wrap it around the waist, and then. Repeat on that side, any number between one, three or five, and then change sides. And it will probably feel that the, the collect movement might be more challenging. So you might want to give yourself more tea towel. So the longer you make it down the back end, the less effortful and range you're gonna to need to collect it. But that's, that's all within your kind of ranges to gauge what's best for you. Okay, and our last one, fifth, is a marching variation. So in, uh, in stand, take up support, one or two hands, take your steady march, and then randomly, I'm gonna say pause, and then carry on. So you're gonna go from a, a, a moving, active, dynamic march, pause, to a little pit stoppy balance position. Use support, so it's randomizing, there are requirements for balance. Pause. And of course, the longer the pause is, the harder it is, is or the more it's going to challenge your balance. So steady, uh, the premise here is steady, 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 and then a pause and then a carry on. So controlling your body weight on one leg uh, randomly. In seated. Uh, we haven't got a balance challenge, so we're going to take a, a, a march, a pause, and in that pause, go bigger and then carry on. So you're finding your regular rhythm of your arm march. I'm going to go pause, and then on that pause, slow, bigger ranges and carry on. One more time. Pause, bigger ranges, and carry on. Okay, that's it. That's your shopping list. Let's just finish with a bit of a Bex hug a bit of a chest stretch, a bit of an upper back stretch, maybe an upper side stretch, take in support if you need it, and and and. That one flew by, that's the noonday done. Uh, I will see, you, I'm on a double whammy tomorrow, I'll see you for the 8am and the noon. Mm, did, oh, am I, am I spotting some buffering going on? Oh no. Back to buffering. I've had no buffering worries for a week. <laughs> right, see you on the 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, bright and early. And don't forget, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get Dave first at four. So back in four hours. Bye for now.